Hey, it's Charlie, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you my first ever YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Ow. <laughs> In this video, we will be discussing the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain, and the mysterious city of Petra in Jordan. But first, let's talk about the man who created the Guggenheim Museum. Frank Geary Frank Geary is a Canadian-born American architect who now resides in Los Angeles. Gary was originally from Toronto, Canada and immigrated to Southern California where he studied at Los Angeles City College and later graduated from the Southern California School of Architecture. It started in Southern California where he established himself as an architect. He was soon recognized for his use of materials and distinct style. Frank had many notable designs, of which include his own residence, of which he purchased in 1991 in Santa Monica. This design has now become a world re owned attraction. Gary used metal, plywood, chain link fencing, and wood framing to explore the materials he was already using. Frank was given many awards of which advanced his reputation and led him to making many notable designs. Now we will be talking about one of his most famous designs, the Guggenheim Museum. This was one of his most famous work and it was constructed in 1993 to 1997 in Spain. It is a museum of modern and contemporary art. It is famous as it turned a struggling industrial town into a cultural metropolis. Now going into history, in 1991, the Basque government suggested to the Guggenheim Foundation to fund a Guggenheim Museum to be built in Bilbao's poor area. The government soon agreed to cover the U.S. $100 million construction cost. The museum was eventually built at a cost of U.S. $89 million. About 5,000 residents of Bilbo attended a pre-opening extravaganza outside the museum on the night preceding the official opening, featuring an outdoor light show and concerts. On October 18, 1997, the museum was opened by Juan Carlos I of Spain. Now getting into the history of the building, the Solomon R. Guggenheim Foundation selected Frank Gehry as the architect and the director of the building. Frank Gehry was encouraged by Thomas K. to design something innovative and daring. The curves on the exterior of the building were designed to catch the light. Also built alongside the exterior of the building is the Nervion River, which runs through the city of Bilbo. Also that can be seen is the pedestrian bridge of which the river runs under. Moving on to the interior of the building, it is obvious that it is light-filled and large. Also inside was a 165-foot atrium, of which consisted of a vast amount of artwork on display. It also consisted of many features, including a catwalk and a boat gallery. Another feature was the central atrium, of which served as a circulation hub. Here is the layout of the museum map of which shows the interior and exterior points. The Guggenheim Museum will forever serve as a symbol of how art and culture can boost the struggling economy of a region. 
Now we're on to talking about the city of Petra. The city of Petra is a giant metropolis of monuments, tombs, and other elaborate religious structures. The main buildings are the treasury, the tombs, and of course, the temple. The structures were carved into stone cliffs and also reflected the diverse and different cultures with which the Nabataeans interacted with. Now, many may ask, can you describe the city of Petra? Well, Petra is half built, half carved into rock. It's surrounded with mountains that consist of gorges and passages. Well, it's one of the world's most famous archeological sites where ancient Eastern traditions blend with Hellenistic architecture. Now, with the help of the Nabataeans, the scale of Petra is immense, and even 10,000 people live there. The ancient civilization built Petra so that the sun would illuminate their sacred palaces. The Nabataeans were known for their organized trades, in which over 500 years they used their wealth to build the famous Petra. The city was a major trading hub because of its central position in the cradle of early civilization. Now Petra had some problems including flash floods. By using cisterns, they were able to collect flood water following heavy storms. You may ask, how does Petra get water? To bring water to the city center, they carved channels into canyon walls. They had particle settling basins of which purified the water, which ensured a reliable source of drinking water for inhabitants and their animals. Here is the map of the city of Petra. Now one may ask, how is the city of Petra and the Guggenheim Museum similar? Well, both are very informative on the Nabataean civilization and with statues, carvings, jewelry, and information of the ancient lifestyles.